In this video, we're gonna be using Cold River Soapwork Select. This is Puro Fresco and the leaf. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. And we're going old school today with some Cold River Soapworks Puro Fresco. And as you can hear, this is an old puck. And yes, this is a kin. This might even be stainless, I'm not sure, but I've taken care not to get that one rusted up and there is the soap and so yeah it's a little bit harder it's pretty old still smells beautiful this is a fantastic scent let me go ahead and put the notes for you right there so you can see oh man what an awesome scent and you don't see cold river soap works around as much as we used to but it's not because it's not good because this is a really nice soap scent strength on this i would call it right at medium um, let's put the ingredients right here and there are some good ones goat's milk coconut butter glycerin Shea butter, really nice soap. And we're gonna use the leaf today for head shaving. Once again, let's tighten that down. Let's just go ahead and start out by misting the dome. Get some water going there, maybe a little bit more. And I'm gonna use the pre-shave cube today. Just get some pre-shave going. Still trying to work into making a dent <laughs> in the cube. And again, as I've said before, I've uh, worked about half of it now, but these things last a long time, and they are $6.95. By the way, as I've been mentioning lately, um, if you're interested in these products, the ones that are available, I put in the comments in the description uh, below. So oftentimes I'm asked questions, where do you get this or that? And I put everything that you can still get in the links below, or at least at a minimum, a minimum, excuse me, easy for you to say, at a minimum, a link uh, to the soap maker's website, uh, the manufacturer, the leaf, and so on and so forth. So try to get that information for you there as added value. And let's wipe off our hands and re-mist, and we'll get to lathering today. Hope everybody's doing well. Just a little bit ago, I got a big box that arrived to my house. A Captain's Choice Bowl is the bowl, by the way, and Razor Rock 400. This was sent to me by Oive. Thank you, Oive. Um, anyway, a big box arrived to my house. And it was from Omaha Steaks. And it was a gift from the inspector, Christmas gift. So thank you so much, inspector and Laura. Not only the inspector, but the inspector and Laura, his lovely wife. And boy, there was lots of good stuff in there. Yeah, it had dry ice in it. And inside the box were like all sorts of steaks and hamburger, chicken bread. I mean, there was a lot of stuff in there. I mean, it was quite a, an amazing Christmas gift. Thank you so much, Inspector and Laura. They've really been good friends to us. And uh, we visited, uh, or at least I visited their home, I don't know, some years back. And they came last year. Maybe, was it 2019? I can't remember the years anymore. But they visited us before as well. Terrific, terrific people. And I hope they are doing well. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, Excellent, awesome gift, so we can't wait to, to cook some of those up. All right, let's get going with our leaf today. And again, hope everyone is doing well. We will try to get an amazing head shape. This soap, it still holds up. Um, and by the way, if you're interested in what Puro Fresco smells like, if you're familiar with uh, Razor Rock 1X, um, bergamot, ginger, musk, um, wood, it's a beautiful scent. I really like it a lot. This is what Puro Fresco sort of smells like. To my nose, it is a terrific, from my perspective, uh, scent. And the thing about Cold River Soapworks is they don't always have a ton of stock of everything, but they do have soaps available. I don't think Puro Fresco was one of them. So I apologize for, for that, but just wanted to use one of my old school soaps. And they don't sell them in the tins anymore, which is delightful for me because I don't really like tins. Well, I don't know, that, that metal right there was a little bit more durable, but also I've really been careful to take good care of it by not getting it wet and trying not to scuff it up or bang it up. I do have some tins, like Razor Rock sells some soaps and glass jars and they have aluminum lids. And those lids look terrible with dents in them and I'm going to have to pull out some of those soaps. I saw Jeffrey Smith using one the other day. Uh, the Dead Sea. I have the Dead Sea, but 
it annoys me because the tub, <laughs> the, the lid is dented up. I, that's a minor thing, I get it, but I like things to look good, you know? And so again, I wanna thank, uh, coming back to the inspector, if you haven't checked out his channel, The Inspector's Den, please do. He's such a great guy and has been an awesome friend to me. And uh, so we certainly wish the inspector and Laura all the best. And certainly happy holiday season. Again, I'm shooting this advance, in advance, so I don't know when it will air, but whenever it does, I hope you're watching Inspector and Laura. They're just awesome people. And so I would appreciate it if you would go over to the Inspector's channel, give him a sub and just thank him. You know, he has been responsible for quite a few pieces of content on this channel, sending me things and um, it's been a long time supporter, confidant, friend. And so now is really um, a good time to be thankful for the for the friends we have, for the family we have. And because it's been pretty rough, you know, this year for many people, including me. And so I'm certainly counting my blessings as well. Try not to dwell too much on the, on the negative uh, aspects. We do talk about it some because, you know, in my videos, I do want to, I want to give you a good amount of shave decree, which I really enjoy, but I also want to give you some of me too. So I don't just limit it to shave decree because I realize there are people who are watching this, who have been watching for years and uh, we have conversations and, you know, about their family, my family. So it's more than just shave decree, you know, we have a lot of good friends like Inspector and Laura and there's so many people that helped me along the way, Zach Plavridis, Tom Brim. Um, I mean, <clears throat> just so many great people in this hobby and it's uh, it's really meant a lot. So I wanna thank all of you, I really do. All right, let's lather up for our second pass here. And we're doing pretty well today. This stuff smells amazing and it still works amazing. And I'm guessing this soap is about, I don't know, five, five or more years old. Still holding up quite well. It's a little hard. It's lost some of its moisture, but I think Cold River was a little bit more firm to begin with. And so really no problem there, but it lathers well. It's uh, it's really good soap and you don't see it as much and they just still have uh, soaps available. They have like a, I think a different formula up now called, I think it's called Glide or something, but every soap that I've tried, they've had the Oliva formula, the Select, the very uh, good stuff. Uh, I didn't tell you how much this one ran when I bought it. It was $16.95 for four ounces or $4.23 per ounce on price chart, which is a fair price. And uh, really a nice scent on many of these Cold River Soap Works soaps. So if you've never tried one, maybe check out one of those new ones. I don't know what the cost is on those, but uh, it's good stuff. Uh, Cold River just doesn't get the attention it once did, but it's not because it's not good, because it's still amazing, amazing stuff. Oh, that smells great. This is such a magnificent scent. Oh, I just really, really enjoy it. And as I often say, I try to be very careful around my ears here. And I try to hold my ears down as I'm working around them so I don't snag one of them with the razor. Um, I've learned that the hard way because I have snagged my ears a few times over the, I guess this, this coming March will be four years shaving the dome. So we're, we've been doing it for a while now. And I have found this leaf as far as um, blades that use, as far as razors that use DE to be my favorite uh, razor. And there's so many people in the comments who have told me the same, like once they got the leaf I don't want to say dialed in, but once they figure it out, sort of crack the code on using the leaf, that they really enjoyed it. But I always say it is a razor that takes a little bit of time to get used to. You have to develop trust with that pivot. That is the key in my estimation. And uh, once you develop that trust with the pivot, I think it becomes much easier to use. But in the beginning, if you're trying to make that angle as you would with a DE, um, it just doesn't feel right. And you're, you're, there's so many people who use these are like, ah, I just don't like that. And you know, 
It doesn't feel aggressive either, but it is using um, three blades and it works great for me. But at the same time, it's one of those razors you have to expect because it is, uh, it is capable of delivering a good nick <laughs> if you're not paying attention. And the one thing you can never do, if the razor is oriented this way, you cannot make a horizontal motion. That's with any razor. Uh, you just have to remain mindful. And uh, I really like this razor. It is a little pricey. It used to be 70 some dollars. I think they raised the price a little bit. I think someone told me, and if they didn't, I apologize. But it does come with a, uh, I believe a 30 day guarantee. So use it for three weeks or so. If you don't like it and you just haven't cracked the code on it, if you're just not getting on with it, send it along, send it back. You know, it's pretty much risk-free in that regard. All right, very nice. Very nice indeed. But trusting the pivot is essential and letting the pivot do the work. So essentially you're gonna put it on your head like so and just let it do the work, you know, pivoting wise. Some people don't like that because it's not traditional, but for me, it's all about using the traditional style of shaving, traditional technique with a brush, with a good soap, with a uh, multi, using multiple pass, it's progressive beard or hair reduction, as is in the case here, hair and not beard. But um, for me, you can use a modern razor in a traditional way and you're getting a traditional shave. Look. A lot of the brushes and the even the badger knots, badgers are considered traditional, but trust me, these badgers of today and the way they're made, there's not much traditional about them. <laughs> they are so dense and they are so different from badgers uh, from the past, which reminds me, I need to get out that uh, Ever Ready badger that David sent me, um, David from Augusta, and use it. The badgers of today, Although people sort of hang their hat on them being ultra traditional, they are not made anything like the badgers of old. In terms of the, the way the hair is and the way they work, they're so dense, you know, they're gelling the tips. That's not traditional, but that's okay. That's sort of the point I'm making is you can do, you know, you can get a little non-traditional in your, uh, with your gear and still, be shaving in a traditional way. So I'm not gonna poo-poo those things, but a lot of times like people will say, oh, synthetics, they're not traditional because they're sort of a new kind of brush and you know they're not traditional badger hair. But trust me, like I said before, the way they make things now with badger brushes, it's not traditional either. It's like the old rubber set where they used to set the, uh, the actual hair in the rubber. That's traditional, <laughs> but these badgers, of today, they're not all that traditional. So if someone is hanging their hat on that and going, I'm uber traditionalist because I'm using Badger. Not if you're using a modern modern Badger brush. It certainly, it's still Badger hair. That's the one thing it has in common um, with the old brushes. But apart from that, it's a completely different animal. And if you use a vintage brush, Badger, with its original Badger hair, you will find out that the badgers of old are not like the ones today. So don't be one of those people that just poo-poos something because you think it's not traditional. Because in truth, a lot of this gear that we obsess over today, this soap, for example, it's not made like soaps were made a long time ago. You know, the, the, the soaps of the old days without all these butters and stuff in it. So when somebody talks about Synthetics have no soul and they're not traditional. And I'm like, here you are using a soap with 12 butters. In. <laughs> and I'm like, come on. They're just sort of picking and choosing spots, you know. But none of that is traditional relative to stuff that your father or grandfather used. Nor the, uh, nor the way we pursue it as a hobby. That they, they didn't. They just shaved. They got in and out of the the restroom, because back in those days, they didn't have a ton of bathrooms. They may have had one in a house of, like my dad, he had uh, seven kids in his family, and they had one bathroom. And so they didn't have time to be fooling around and pursuing 
<laughs> luxury in the bathroom. It was about shaving and getting the heck out of there and showering and so on. So, all right, that was really nice. Let me rinse the dome. We'll come back and get into the bow. Stay tuned. And all right, here we are back with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's um, Witch Hazel Cucumber without alcohol. We'll just hit it with the dome there and get the face there and work that in. That was a very enjoyable head shave with the leaf once again doing its work in stellar fashion. Really, really great. The Cold River Soap Works Puro Fresco. Really good stuff. And as you can hear, <laughs> there's a lot of room between that soap and the walls. But it was fantastic. Razor Rock 400, excellent. And of course, our Captain's Choice Bowl, which is my daily driver in terms of bowls. And we're gonna finish today's shave up with the Razor Rock 1X, which is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. And I have something coming um, soon, hopefully. I don't know how soon, but if you like this scent, just stay tuned. We will have something coming. I don't know, it might be spring or early summer, but we will have something coming to announce on the, if you love this scent, I know Razor Rock doesn't make it anymore. Why not? I don't know, but it is fantastic. But we got something in the work, so stay tuned. All right. I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks again so much, Inspector and Laura. I really appreciate that wonderful gift, as does Susan. Thank you so much. Thanks to all of you for watching. I don't know when this will air, but whenever it does, and wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Hope you're in good spirits. I hope everything is going well. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shape. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.